Hey guys, so what happens to you when you stop smoking cigarettes? Well, some people out there believe that the effects of smoking is irreversible. But is that true? Well, no, not entirely. So what really happens to us when we stop smoking? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's get to it. Yeah. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I'll make mistakes, but mistakes make you strong now just very quick, if it's your first time here on my channel, I'm Daniel and welcome to DLM Model Lifestyle. Subscribe and also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of the next videos. Now, when you stop smoking, we all know that there's a lot of good effects. Like for example, your teeth is not going to be so yellow anymore and also you're not going to smell that bad. And the risk of cancer is going to lower, we, we all know that. But what really happens to us when we stop smoking? Well, let's start at the beginning. Let's start at day one when you quit smoking. All right, so it's the first day when you quit smoking. And so the nicotine levels in your bloodstream started to drop. And you've also lowered your risk of heart attack. Why? Because smoking causes the reactive constriction of blood vessels in your body. So when you stop smoking, the constriction will also start to cease and cause lower blood pressure, pulse rate, and your body's normal temperature will also start to return to normal. And it's also interesting that just after eight hours since you quit smoking, oxygen already starts to reach your cells and tissues. Now you need to know that your nicotine withdrawal symptoms will be at its worst within the first to the third day. So just try to push through it. But the cool thing is that within the first three days, your taste and smell receptors will also start to return to normal. So you can expect that your food is already gonna taste better. And in this short period of time, you're also gonna be able to start to breathe a lot easier because the bronchial tubes started to open more in your lungs and your lung capacity to fill up with air also increases. And within two weeks, those strong withdrawal symptoms that you have, <laughs> they're gonna start to decrease a lot. So it's gonna be a lot easier for you to stop smoking permanently. And in this time, circulation and oxygenation also improves a lot. So you can start to breathe a lot more easier than you used to. Studies show that your lung function increases as much as 30% and that is just two weeks after you've quit smoking. After just one month of quitting smoking, you'll start to realize that many of your smoke-related symptoms like congestion, sinus and shortness of breath decreased a lot. Another huge thing happened in this time, the fibers in your lungs that help your lungs to stay healthy start to grow back. Our bodies are just amazing. The human body is always trying to heal itself and repair itself while we usually just break it down with stupid things like smoking. Now these fibers that start to grow back, they help you to reduce mucus buildup and protect you against infections. And then at around a month and a half, your withdrawal symptoms like anger, anxiety, depression, insomnia, and difficulty concentrating will start to disappear. A woman can also improve her fertility and the risk that her baby will be born prematurely. And your body's overall energy also starts to improve a lot. Now, at around one year, you're starting to realize just how much money you've saved since you quit smoking. But apart from that, your lungs is gonna be a lot stronger in capacity and in functioning as well. And then after three years, the risk of heart attack lowers to normal, meaning it's the same as somebody who's never smoked in their life. And then after five years, since you stopped smoking, the risk of lung cancer lowered to 
and then after 10 years the risk of dying to lung cancer then is the same as somebody who never smoked. So it means that you have healthy cells again, so you're back to normal. And also other smoking related cancers like cancers of the mouth, esophagus, bladder, kidneys and pancreas also goes down. So if you're still smoking, it's time to stop, it's time to quit. Do it for yourself, do it for your family and remember, smoking cigarettes is like paying money to have your life cut shorter. Doesn't really make sense. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.